Yeah, I, hi, everyone. I'm sorry that we had that problem there. Uh, I was trying to get my screen to show. So we are ready to go here today with our webinar, which we've titled Triple Sales in a Diff Difficult Economy. But what I really want to talk about today is how to do business right now and how to make sure that you get the fair share of business that you need to sell. And there are ways to do that. And so that's what I want to start this off with that statement. But we want to thank all the great suppliers that are on the screens right now. All of these suppliers are sponsors of this of my website. I have used them for years and they will never let you down. So with shipments being late, people not delivering, these are suppliers that will never, ever, and I mean ever let you down. And the thing that I want to talk to you about first is the way to do everything is to do it better. And this is an interesting thing that I came up with the other day. I thought, how much of our brain do we really use? And I know that's kind of a kind of a question about how much do we really think? Well, in Dale Carnegie's 1936 bestseller, How to Win Friends and Influence People, they claim that on oh, that statement claimed that there are only 10% of our abilities were used. And I can tell you that I believe that is true because I've been in this industry a long time and I've been through downturns like the one we're experiencing at this time several times. And what that has done to me is difficult times force me to think not ask somebody else to help me what to do, but figure out what I need to do on my own. And most people don't know how to do that. And one thing that you can do is to start selling kickstand pad, pad uh, stands to uh, motorcycle dealers. Burlicamp makes these, and that is the coolest product in the world. And I just love Burlicamp. So I love to talk about these stands in every one of these webinars. Now, Based on what I told you about having to start thinking and learning what I have to do, I had to develop a bounce back card program back in 1991 when I lost my biggest customer, the Dallas Times Herald, $250,000 a year uh, client. They were sold to the morning news and that business just went away. So I developed a card program where I sent out to prospective customers they returned the card and I gave them a free gift. I got all of the business back I lost for the Herald in a year and a half by finding new customers. I would have never done that if I didn't have to. In the pandemic, I started delivering pickle loaf to my customers and toilet paper. I had pickle loaf because I loved it and I couldn't buy it locally. So I had to buy like two pounds that have shipped here. And I posted it on my Facebook page and hey, who wants some pickle loaf? And I had like eight of my customers say, Don, we love that stuff. Same way with the toilet paper. I had an excess of toilet paper. I delivered it to my customers and they cre that created callbacks for me. I have started increasing my volunteer activity. I started doing it a lot more to get business because of bad times. I've perfected the use of self promos like my lens cleaning cloth I'm showing you right there on the screen. Best business card I've ever had. I've increased my social media presence to increase business because I have to. And I started wearing colorful shoes 12 years ago to get people to come to my presentations at shows and when I work supplier boost at show. If I hadn't done my colorful shoes, I would not have the brand I have today and I would not have those cool business cloths that I have. So things that I have done that you can do were forced on me. I did not do them because I wanted to. Now, Alex Garcia is with Distributor Central today. He is every time I'm here and we are going, he is going to take control of the screen right now for five years, five, not five years, for five minutes and tell you a little about Distributor Central. And after he gets through, I will continue the webinar. And then when we get to the end, we're gonna have our question and answer session, our private training, and you can ask any question that you'd like. So if you've got some questions, I believe our question tab is on, just start asking those. And then Alex will keep a track of those. And at the end of the presentation, we'll tell you whatever you need to know. Are you ready, Alex? I am, thanks, Don. Yeah, so I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about Distributor Central, whether you're new uh, to the platform or you've been with us for a while. So just gonna go over a couple quick things and highlight a couple quick things. 
So main thing we get, the question we get asked a lot is what is Distributor Central? So Distributor Central kind of did break it down for you is an online e-commerce platform that brings the distributors and suppliers together. And we offer all our services to distributors at no charge. So we're sponsored by the top suppliers in the industry, which allows us to offer all these services to distributors, business tools, uh, order management tools um, at no charge along with websites. So we have things such as product presentations, uh, you can build quotes, you can uh, email products to your customers, you can uh, also create a website and have it's fully customizable, comes with a free SSL certificate, um, you can connect your domain to it, we can host it, a lot of different tools at your fingertips. Um, so I just wanted to show you kind of a couple little features here in the actual dashboard. <clears throat> Excuse me. So once you log into your DC account, this is going to be your main hub, if you will, your dashboard. And as you can see here, this is called our product central dashboard. We have a lot of things right here already ready to go. So you have product of the day, featured products, recommended for you. So our system is a very smart system that we designed and it will start tracking what you've been searching for and recommend products based on your search history. Now you can see the top sellers. And if you look here and you see kind of these little tags, these $5 off tags, these are called order and save. And we've also narrowed it down to one area for you. So if I click view more here, this means that these products we've worked out with the suppliers. If you order online through Distributor Central, you'll get $5, sometimes even $10, as you can see right here, um, off of these products when they're ordered through Distributor Central. Um, as you'll see when uh, Don, you know, continues on with the webinar and talks about the great suppliers that he works with, uh, you can also narrow down and see what suppliers we have. So if you come over here to the suppliers tab and click on uh, suppliers on Distributor Central, currently we have about around 400 suppliers in our database with about 315,000 active products. And you can go through and see, you know, all the suppliers here and actually narrow it down and uh, view their products. So let's say like uh, you want to look at Alexa Springs, you can go over here and click on view products and it'll narrow the search down to adjust their products. So a lot of different things you can do um, as far as a product search wise goes. Uh, just show you a quick example of the uh, websites that we were talking about. So with the websites, we basically created all these pre-built templates. So you don't have to be a website designer. You don't have to be uh, you know, graphic designer, anything like that. Uh, you can come over here and look at all the templates we have. We have 30 plus templates and continuing to add to them all the time. You can simply go in here, put your logo on one of these pre-built websites. And then if you wanna go further, you can even build themes and stuff like that. But these are already all set up with product collections and connected back to your distributor central account. So I'll just kind of go through it here so you can see briefly the different templates that we have it's a lot of different things a lot of them are general so all products all suppliers and then there's also niche websites uh, that focus on a certain type of product so like if you come up here and you can see we have one that's focused around golf so as you can see a lot of things uh, at your fingertips that you can use um, a lot of tools useful tools and like I said they're all free um, so if you're, like I said, if you're new to DC and you want to get signed up, or maybe you haven't been on your, on Distributor Central in a while, uh, go ahead and feel free to contact us, uh, 888-516-7401. Uh, you can email us anytime at info at distributorcentral.com. Uh, you can also scan this QR code right here, and that will, uh, take you to our sign up page. If you already have an account, we'll be able to send you your login information, um, so just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown. And if you have any questions, my contact information will be at the very end. Feel free to reach out to me directly too. Um, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get it back over to you, Don. Good. Well, that was great, Alex. I, those templates I think are really cool, uh, especially those uh, niche market ones of rush orders or uh, different product categories. I, I just think that is so, so, so neat. Now, let me see here. It's back on you. Okay. okay. 
Okay, there was Alex's slide. Now we're ready to go. Now here is the thing that bothers me more than anything is never sell cheap or dumb prospects. Now cheap or dumb prospects to me are ones that don't wanna buy anything from me, but they act like they do. They require numerous product choices and they buy nothing. Distributors do not understand, but dumb and cheap people are only shopping you when they're asking you for a bunch of ideas. I won't give anybody ideas unless I know they are a serious buyer. So the way I do that is I don't give numerous product choices. What I do is I limit them. And the next slide will tell you how I do that. But I want to mention Quickie. Quickie is one of the best suppliers in this industry. I have worked with them for 16 years with my website. If you want that key tag sample kit, it's info at quickie.com. Now, when I talk about limiting product choices, if somebody said, Don, I am a realtor and I want some ideas for my real estate company, not gonna spend any time on it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Southern Plus. I love Southern Plus because they have these product offerings that are condensed. Right there is real estate promotions. What I would do is I would email or text the person that was interested that flyer right there only. It's got five choices and say, is this what you're looking for? If they said they wanted drinkware, I would send them the Southern Plus drinkware flyer, umbrellas, chairs. If they were looking for festival products, there's a festival uh, email pitch at the bottom, outdoor events. I don't offer a lot of choices because serious buyers will appreciate you not confusing them. Dumb people and non-buyers, they are eliminated by this approach. So go to southernplus.com. Don't offer too many choices. Limit the choices and you'll get more orders. Now, niche market selling is the way to go now. At least 50% of your business should be from target markets. And I talked about those motorcycle stand kick, pad, kick stand pads. Here is another stand pad on the left from um, Burla Camp, and on the right are license plate frames. I might just take these products and instead of going out and selling pins, magnets, magnets, bags, caps, and t-shirts, which are generic products, I'm going to become a niche or a target market seller. If you do this, you will increase your business and you will become an expert in different areas of the industry. Sales at burlacamp.com for samples. Now, uniform sales. I talk about Edwards in every one of these webinars because people, our distributors, do not sell enough uniforms. If you'll call on big companies, you'll call on uh, service companies, they all need uniforms. And become a niche market uniform seller. My friend, Brett Guerin, B. Garen at edwardsgarment.com can train you how to sell uniforms. And the great thing about Edwards, they won't steal your customers. They ask no, they offer no risk decorations, no shortages, and they do not damage any garment. So use Edwards as a niche market selling product along with any other one you think goes with a target market you'd like to call on. Now, selling niche markets. That makes you own customers. Generic, generic sellers, they don't own their customers. They only rent them. And one of the reasons that I can sell uniforms or own my customers is because I use the Edwards website. There's all the things that you can do on that site. I'm not going to read them to you. You can see them. But if you get up on that site, there are great different things on their site that you can use to learn how to sell uniforms. And Brett Guerin will teach you how to own your customers forever. Send him an email and say, Sanders told me to call you. I need to learn how to sell uniforms. You will not be sorry if you do that. Use suppliers to help you sell products and learn different things to pitch. Now I post all my travels and uh, what I do on social media. I'll post one of these pictures like this every two or three days. Every time I do, I sold, I, I sell an order. 
The pictures on the screen right now are all ones I have posted. There I am with my mother and father at Niagara Falls, and I'm like five years old. Below that, I'm in Cuba. Below that, I went to Wall Drugs in uh, Wall, South Dakota. And my mother loved to go to Leonard's department store during December. I've got like these pictures with Santa Claus going back to good, good grief. I don't know how old I am, but I find these old photos and I post them and you cannot believe how people react to them. They love them. But right here on the screen right now is $50 off your first order of $150 from Apogee. John Gotch is my friend that runs that company. That is the best award company in this industry, in my opinion. And let's talk about that social media. I've been talking about Greg Blumstein at Promo Social Post and the last three webinars. He can do all your social media posting for you in a business-related sense. I do my own personal posting, but Brett is going to help me do my business posting. He creates newsletters, monthly newsletters to send out. They inform your prospects, keeps you in front of them. You can view your statistics of how many have opened those. And these are sent every two, the first Tuesday of every month. That's for the newsletter. But he also sends product offerings two or three times a week. Greg at promosocialpost.com. And there is Greg. I met him and he's been in business. He's been a distributor just like me. So I am a distributor training distributors. He is a distributor training distributors because he has the knowledge to know how to work social media correctly. And he will do a great job for you. And the great thing about this is, is you get your first month of service for free. Can't recommend it enough. I use shipping delays to close orders. Instead of having the you know delays and mo moaning about it and feeling sorry for myself, I just write up front with my customers and I tell them, you know what, if you want to order this stuff, you need to place these orders. I don't know when you're going to get it. I am pre-selling orders by using negatives to my advantage. It forces clients to place orders in advance. Use delays as a positive, not a negative. And there is that Apogee offer again, which I think that's just a great deal. Now, let's move along here to honest information about selling for ethical and honest suppliers. You expect, you're expected to be an ethical and honest distributor, so you should buy from ethical and honest suppliers. There are more than 40% of these suppliers in this industry that I think will tell you anything to get an order. They need your money up front to operate because times are tough. They're not gonna tell you that, but they're not gonna be honest like Quickie and tell you right on their website that they're suspending their three to five day service but will maintain seven to nine business day. Bensel comes right out front and tells you what's going on about fuel charges. ID line tells you to call the customer service rep about inventory on certain products. 40% of the suppliers industry, they don't tell you, they want that order and then they're gonna send you that email. We are experiencing delivery days and your delays and your order will be processed soon. Sorry for the inconvenience. That's all you get. And you sit there and wait 50 days for the order because you know what? You They've already got your money. Honest information makes you successful. Just like in the bottled water business, Alex talked about Alexa Springs. I talk about them in all these webinars because I really believe in their product. They do not use bait and switch tactics to sell orders. Many water suppliers will do that on freight. They have different freight zone pricing. They have to do that because they only have one shipping location. Alexa Spring ships from seven different locations in the United States. There they're shown on the screen. And because of that, they can give you an accurate freight code. You don't have to go back to your customer and say, oh, listen, you're out of the right zone. You've got to pay more. Plus, right on their flyer, they'll tell you about how much you uh, the Oregon bottle bill is 10 cents a bottle, a redemption value of five cents in California. <clears throat> Most of these suppliers don't give you honest answers. And knowing water differences will make the sale. I know too many distributors that sell purified water. Purified water is sewer water. 
people don't understand that, but it, it comes from uh, a, a municipal water source, which is a water treatment plant. Now it'll tell you right there that it is safe to drink and how they purify the water. But right there it says, but being tap water lacks a refreshing taste. Where spring water from Alexa Springs comes from a natural spring. Doesn't that spring look better than those sewer pipes? And that water just looks great. So point that out to customers. Know what you're talking about. When you get in a price uh, war with somebody or something, say, are you wanna buy sewer water or do you wanna buy spring water? That usually shuts them right up. Now, water sellers claim that water makes no, taste makes no difference. Well, that's not true. I got orders from Grand Bank that I is, was located in my neighborhood. Their water said purified by reverse osmosis. And when I told my customer that, he says, Don, I didn't know that. So I got Grand Bank's water business because they had no idea that their customers were drinking sewer water. But that is the truth. Now, here's a way that I have introduced surge pricing to customers. I charge last minute buyers surge pricing. That means if they forgot to place the order, they're going to pay me to make sure it gets there correctly and on time. We average 55% profit on rush jobs. Amazon has made that possible because everybody expects it overnight. And today people are waiting to the last minute. So I have introduced surge pricing because on my rush orders, I make an average of 55% profit. And there's a great $5 off an order um, coupon from Distributor Central, which Alex told you about. Great way to make a little money. Now, you wanna talk about doing those rush orders? Snugs can do them for you. Snugs will do, uh, I think they have two or 300 products here that are on next day shipment. They deliver on time, so never miss rush orders again. Distributors get on these chat sites and they complain about they can't get their orders delivered and blah, blah, blah. Well, if they had bought them from Snugs, they wouldn't be having this problem. So use rush order suppliers that can help you. And the way to make sure you get good service is you establish accounts with suppliers. Too many distributors want to buy one off from suppliers. They don't have any relationships with people whatsoever. And so what they do is they will call a supplier up, get demanding with them and need their order done quickly. They have no credibility with the supplier. They don't have a contact with them. They don't have account information. Create accounts with at least 30 suppliers up front. Logo Match is a good choice. They'll do match pretty quick. And Edwards, who I just talked to you about, never let you down on uniform sales. Get accounts in place before you start trying to sell rush orders. And when you do that and you have accounts set up with customers or suppliers, you have advantages that other distributors do not have. Edwards has professional product images on their, on their website to send to your customers. They don't take the pictures themselves with a homemade camera like about half of these suppliers do. They spend the funds to provide you with information that makes the products that you sell your customers attractive. You get this kind of information by establishing counts. Now here's how I introduce surge pricing to a customer. This is an email that I sent them back from a customer that needed to buy some golf items. So what I did, that's the template right here that I send to my this golf prospect. And I am telling him, normal delivery is 30 days, but if expedited services needed, it can be secured at an increased cost. Let me know if normal shipment is acceptable. Thank you again for being our customer. If you want it fast, then you're gonna to have to come back and say, oh, I need it in more than 30 days, quicker than 30 days. That's when I will tell them the prices, is going, prices are going to be different. So I use Gemfire for my golf, uh, got products that I sell and I included the Gempire logo on my pitch and some distributors go, Don, aren't you afraid your customers will go direct? No, because I don't sell people that go direct. I include that supplier logo because if somebody says, oh, I can get it cheaper, uh, cheaper, I'll say, well, how is the quality of the supplier you're using? What's their reputation? That person is going to say, I don't know. Well, I say I'm higher because I only sell for reputable suppliers. 
just like Quickie. It's a huge golf selling season coming up here. Don't be cut short by out of stock suppliers. Quickie has their towel hand towel samples. This is a great product for the golf market. Quickie and Jim Fire have great products for golf. And if you'd like to have a sample of this product, info at quickie.com. Now, cross market selling is a big thing. A lot of distributors will sell one product to a customer and then they never go to another department in that, in that, uh, in that business. Cross market, everybody you sell. QR codes are back and from sticker U has QR code stickers that can go on cans, bags, <coughs> inside box stickers, sheet stickers. They have them for retail shelving and they have scan to win stickers that can go on vehicles. So if you want QR code sticker samples, promo at stickeru.com. I'm just trying to tell you about selling niche markets. We talked about uniforms. We talked about motorcycle products. How about becoming a niche QR code market seller? I guarantee if you know how to sell those, that's a, you're ahead of you're ahead of 90% of the distributors in the industry who have not perfected the sale of those products. Now, when you want to deal with product shortages, I lead customers to available products. I do not let, I do not follow them. Stop letting your customers dictate product choices. It's just like Yeti. <coughs> Yeti's a great product, but you can't get Yeti. So why sell Yeti? Just be upfront. Say, you know what? Thermos is a great line. It's as good as Yeti. Go to Snugs. They have they have thermos. They can deliver. Just tell your products up, your prospects up front. If you're thinking about drinkware, here's the drinkware I can get from Snugs. Be a leader, not a follower. Now, I've known David Blaze forever, let's say for 20 years. If you need pricing, sometimes a special pricing program, there are several of these uh, uh, pricing uh, conglomerates around, but of all the ones, I think the ones, the Smarty QP program, by David Blaze is the best. You can you can uh, look at smartyqp.com slash Don for a little demo. I just pitched this because people ask me every day, Don, who should I get these uh, programs from? David Blaze is who you should get this from because I trust him. Now, I amortize product prices to demonstrate value. I don't sell cheap stuff. Just like the water, I'm not gonna sell cheaper water because it's it's not any good. So if somebody wants a quality product, I am gonna tell them, hey, you know what? The longer, the better quality is, the better it will perform, like the water, the better it will taste. And by amortizing products, they end up being cheaper in the long run. S distributors don't wanna do this. They think, oh my God, I gotta have 10 cents cheaper on this product because so-and-so is gonna get the order. Well, so-and-so has not told them that what they're selling them is junk. My father sold Caterpillar Road Machinery for 30 years. That was never cheaper. It was always more expensive, but I learned from him that in the long run, the Caterpillar tractor lasted longer, so amortized over time, it was a better product for the money. Just like Southern Plus, Innovation Line, and Quickie, they all sell quality products. They're not gonna be cheaper, but they will last longer. Now I wanna talk about Snugs' augmented reality service. This is the coolest thing in the world. If you want your products to pop on the screen of your customer and you at the same time, you can scan the QR codes on these Swagger products from Snugs and it will come up just like the image there on the left, the Y7 Studio, you can make the logo revolve around the product. The imprint is stunning. Stop sending product images like that one there on the right. That's one I got off of a large uh, service that offers uh, products that pop logos on. I'm not gonna use the name, but that is a sorry looking product on the right. Which one do you think your customer would rather buy? The one with augmented reality or the one that just is a flat image? snugzusa.com for augmented reality. Now I'm talking about social media publishing again. Here is some particular about what Greg does. He publishes different products three times a week on Facebook, LinkedIn, etc. 
There are images and videos are shown. They can be customized with your email address. And each week there's a different theme of things that he will provide you. So stop being a post another day distributor. I've talked a lot about Greg, we're almost finished, but please listen to me on this. I believe in this so strongly. Here are some distributor testimonials about people or distributors that have used Greg and these are not made up. They're just all true to life. And they tell you exactly how Greg has been able to hand them, help them and how he gets them business. So it's Greg at promosocialpost.com. Send him an email and he'll give you a month for free. And here's the newsletter that he's created for me with my logo at the top, my Don Sanders marketing at the bottom with my email and my cell phone number. It's $40 a month, I think, if it's that much, but it doesn't make any difference. Try it for free. Greg at promosocialpost.com. I'm sorry I'm going on about this so long, but I really believe in social media because when I post those pictures of that Santa and Cuba and all that stuff, I get orders. So I get orders off of this service too. Now I sell for family owned suppliers because they train their customer service people. Stop dealing with these mega suppliers that have these offshore uh, phone banks that can't understand you. You cannot get a straight answer out of them. So here are seven family owned suppliers on the, on the screen right now that all their customer service is based here. They can understand and can help you. Just like ID Line is another one. This is a family owned supplier. Their customer service people are in Brooklyn Park, Minnesota, not Manila. And I deal with them on name badges. I sell name badge programs. That creates constant reorders, just like the uniform program, just like selling water. Name badges are great for reorders. And you can get a name badge sample kit from Janders at IDLine.com. And there's a free screen charge from IDLine. And you're buying from a company in Minnesota, not a company in Taiwan or any place else. I'm not saying anything bad about Taiwan or China or whatever, but I want to deal with people that I can comprehend and understand. Like I buy from owners, not shareholders. Some of these big conglomerates are owned by hedge funds. You can't get the owner on the screen, but Harvey Mackler owns Gempire. I get rush orders delivered on time because I can call Harvey at his phone number and say, Harvey, what's going on with my order? You think he's not going to shoot you straight? He'll shoot you straight and say, here's the deal. Here's what's happening. And you're not left hanging. Harvey helped me design my seed paper business cards, which are right to the left. That's a cool product too. Email harvey at gempire.com or call him. Can't do that with mega suppliers. That's how I sell orders in a bad economy because I use suppliers I know. Now this Dash Connection card is another cool thing that I've been talking about. It is a card you can carry in your wallet, your money clip, your purse. And if you don't have business cards with you, what you do is you just pull out the card, you tap the screen of the person you've met and your information is automatically propagated into their contact information. This is about the coolest thing I've ever seen. You can call the 800 number or 877 number or email dash at 8lmedia.com for a sample. And here's Fred Astaire. He is just so excited about tapping. I just think that's a cute image. And this business card is one that rules above all other. Only one card needed. This is cutting edge stuff. If you've got cool promos, like those lens cleaning cloths I've got, see paper cards and a dash card, you are set to be a really good seller. Never be without a business card again. Now I educate my clients just about the water quality, about sending them specs so they do not come out and say, Don, I can't get that printed on there. Sticker U has got sizing charge that they can send you if you're selling iron-ons, pouches, labels, decals, whatever it is. They have sizing chart, <coughs> excuse me, that you send to your customer and that's exactly what they need to know if their information can be printed on that product. This kind of little stuff, sending to people 
our customers is how you get business. Now, here's another thing I want to talk to you about. Logo Mats has a whole series of videos on how to sell mats. And I know about them because I have done them. And the first one that I've done here is on selling mats to realtors. And if you'll go watch this uh, video at logomats.com, it will show you how to sell realtors. It tells you they need mats to promote themselves. But the one way thing it's gonna tell you is two ways to get realtor business. If you've got a home or a condominium, call a realtor up and say, you know what? The market's hot right now. What do you think my house is worth? I guarantee you that realtor will be out there in about 10 minutes. You want to meet them in person? Put your house on the market or act like you want to put it on the market. I'm not being devious here. If I could get enough money for my house, I would sell it. And every time a realtor came to look at my house, I would pitch them on mats because realtors you can meet in person. And here's another idea that you'll learn from those videos is you leave one foot square mats and catalogs on the front porch of open houses before a realtor arrives. He, will ha he or she will have to pick up the mat, the catalog and go in the open house. And then about 15 minutes before the open house is over, just show up and introduce yourself. Little tips and techniques are gonna be shown on all these videos on logo mats to show you how to sell these different markets. Now, one of the things that irritates me more than anything is cheap distributors. Showing quality samples separates you from am amateurs. Here's a, 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 an ice cream scoop from American Made Cutlery. You gotta pay for the thing, but it is a great product. Order entry at southernplus.com. You can get there. There shouldn't be a space between order and entry. That should all be the running together. I'm sorry about that. But buy, order some of their samples and pay for them. If you want a polo from Edwards, just email Brett or call him and be Garen at edwardsgarment.com. He'll send you one of these polos. But stop being cheap. I, all the time, distributors say, Don, I'm not going to buy from that supplier. I am their sales, and they should send me stuff for, for free. Do not expect everything for free. Be a participant and not a freeloader and sell quality products. Now, I swear this is the last I'm going to talk to you about water, but last week I read this on the internet. The Guardian, which is an online publication, says that the EPA is limiting its scope on what actually makes clean water. Well, I don't have this problem because I sell Alexa Springs water and it does not suffer that problem because the EPA is not all over spring water. So if you want to get business, sell spring water. And there's a label right there from a uh, valet service, and it says natural spring water. That is how I get business. And when I sell that water, I sell everywhere I go. You buy in a car, sell them water. You have a loved one in the hospital, go call on the administrator or the marketing director. You wear your bank or your mortgage company, they buy water. If you're at an aquarium, zoo, or museum, just ask the manager, hey, can I sell you water? You have a loved one in an apartment or in a condominium, sell the management company water. If you give somebody money, they can give you money back. That's the way I look at this. Anytime you call on a business that you give money, you try and sell them something in return. Brian at alexasprings.com for water samples. He will not let you down. Now, when you need that special pricing again, here is David Blaze, smarteqp.com. And what I have done with David is we have built a new Facebook promo training page where we train you how to sell. No complaining, only training. A lot of these uh, chat sites, people are on there ragging on suppliers, looking for products. Don't come to our site looking for products. Come for our site for training. We are trying to have a positive aspect in the industry and help people and show them what to do. So if you need that industry buying group, smarteqp.com slash Don, just check out that video or you can call David. I will vouch for him completely. Now, here is the uh, list of all the suppliers, the uh, opportunities you have for uh, getting samples. 
And here's my email address if you'd like to have an uh, email for the webinar replay link and Facebook training page. So if you'll email these suppliers, they will get these samples out to you. Now, Alex, do you have your questions or do you want to control the screen now? Tell me how you want to do the question and answer thing, please. Yeah, so I'm looking at the questions here. So we got a lot of requests for pickle loaf. So that's one thing. Are you um, kidding? No. Interesting. Uh, people are interested in pickle loaf. Well, I'm not I'm making too. I am telling you from that, I love that pickle loaf and you can't get it. So I had to buy like two pounds from a deli out of New Jersey and it came here and I thought, what am I going to do with all this? And I posted that and I, I would go to people's houses and leave it on their front door with a note and then text them. And you can't I be, I believe, huh? I, I'm not making that up. All right. <laughs> I'm all sorry. right so looking at some other questions here so i got one for you don um <clears throat> they're asking uh with so many people working from home if they wanted to do a dimensional mail program how would people ever how how do we know people will ever get them secondly how do you qualify if a potential client has capacity to spend based upon what criteria their sales volume I don't worry about those things. I am just real frank with people and I just ask them the truth. And on any time I work on an order or any time I would deal with somebody, I will not do anything further unless I know what their budget is, when they need it, what the purpose of the product. And if they say they don't know those things, I don't proceed with them. And I don't know if that's the proper answer on that, but I will sell anybody who has money but I will ask up front, are you the decision maker? And if they say, no, I have to go ask so-and-so, then I just stay away from them. And okay. I don't know if that's the right way to say or not, but I don't mess with people that are not buyers. We got another question it says, which social media do you personally prefer when you do your photos? Well, I get, when I do my photos, I do best with Facebook and like I'm going to go Sunday, I'm going to go to Chicago to the ASI show, but I always go up there a couple of days early because I like, I just like to go see things. So I'm going to go to the Chicago History Museum. I will post that when I get to Chicago History Museum on Facebook. That's where I get my best action. So um, that, that would be my answer on that. All right. Got another one here. It says, how do you get people who are on the fence to order? Ship estimates needed or ship estimates need to be updated when they wait from the original estimate that was given? I don't, I don't ever quote freight to anybody. Um, I've been doing this for a long time. I don't quote freight. I just charge them the freight. Now before, and the reason being is I know my customers well enough uh, because I know what their tolerance for pain is. And like when I do rush orders, even before the pandemic, I could not, I didn't know what the freight was going to be. I just say, you're just going to have to pay the freight. And I was selling people that were so desperate for it. They don't care what the freight charge is. I don't get into this, this uh, uh, particular <laughs> thing. I, and the reason being is, is, is I don't deal with people that I don't feel I can trust and know. And if they say, well, I need an accurate freight quote, I will tell them to, why don't you check and see what you can come up with too. Let them do the work. If they want to be a buyer, let them negotiate the freight. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we got here. <clears throat> so I've got one for, it looks like me. We are currently using ESP, uh, ASI. How does yours compare with suppliers? Is there overlap? So over at Distributor Central, we pride ourselves on quality versus quantity. Like I said, currently we have about 400 suppliers. We vet them all. So when you look across the board, um, a lot are going to have all the main ones, the big, large ones like Sanmar, Alpha Broder, SNS, so on and so forth. And then when you go down to the mid-sized suppliers and the smaller ones, it'll it'll vary. But uh, you can check in once you log into your DC account, as I showed you. You can go in there and you can look up uh, the suppliers that are currently uh, signed with Distributor Central and have their products in our database. You can also uh, even take those. Uh, suppliers, if you have a certain set of suppliers you'd like to use, like Don said, you know, don't offer everything, offer the ones that you know and trust. You can set that in the back end for your product searches, and you can also apply it to your websites where only their products will show up. 
Well, what, what I would say is people ask me all the time, Alex, about which, which uh, search program to use. And I always say Distributor Central. It's honesty because I met Tom Mertz, who, you know, you know, Tom. So I've known him for 20 years and he is the sharpest person that I know in this industry with that stuff. And so people ask me all the time and I always recommend DC. And I think that the, the best answer from my perspective would be it's easier for me to, to, to operate and to use. And I think I get better, better traction out of it. And I do the other ones and I'm not ragging on anybody. It's just, we use who we want to use. And that's just, I'm giving you all a compliment because I, I think DC is, is always been ahead on these kind of things. And okay. got and another I'm, one for you. Okay. Um, it says, how are you dealing with inflation? Have you dealt with giving a customer a quote? And by the time you get the decision, the price, is, the price of the item has gone up. Well, I, that's what I'm talking to you about surge pricing. I don't, I don't mess with people. We don't, I, we just, in, in that instance, like if I, if I sent somebody that email, like that template I showed you, it would just say on there right up front, here's the pricing for, that's why I came up with that surge pricing. Here's the pricing. This pricing is good for, uh, let's say 10 days. And then this pricing is good for 20 days. I don't mess with people. If you're a buyer, you're a buyer. If you're not, go hassle somebody else. And I, I, I guess I got that attitude from my dad selling the road machinery because Caterpillar was never going to be cheaper. If you want to buy it, you buy it. If you don't, I'm going to spend my time finding somebody that wants to buy it. So I, I, I put limits on people that I sell. And, and I think a lot of distributors don't do that. I, I, and I think that's what kills them in the end is they or kills them business wise is they is they they let people run over okay uh, i got a follow-up from the first question um it's saying if you want to do a dimensional mail prospect program how do i know they will get the dimensional piece since people are working remote well what i would do is i would find out where they were ro working remote and I'm a I'm gonna call that lumpy mail. And some people call it dimensional mail. I call it lumpy mail. And I, I don't know what the really answer is to that. A lot like when I delivered the pickle loaf to people, those were people that I had formed bonds with that I knew really well. So I knew where they lived, or I would not have been able to take them that product out. But if 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 people are working remotely, uh, I know that that stuff's going to their office. I know that that's being forwarded to their house. I know that they're going there to pick their mail up, or that has to be forwarded in some way. I, that's the best answer I can come up with. That. Okay. Do we have any more questions? We don't have any right now. Anybody else have any other questions? Well, my question is going to be. Alex, how do we increase our business today? So increasing your business using Distributor Central, obviously you have the tools at your fingertips. Um, you take what Don has told you, um, find those suppliers that you work with, know and trust, narrow it down, build a website, even build a niche website. Um, that way you're not offering everything and anything. And because as he said before, you'll get those customers that will just go on there and try to find the cheapest stuff. Yeah, it may be cheaper, but the quality is not there type of thing. Um, also, you want to have a social media presence. Um, so, you know, whatever you need to do um, for your Facebook, your uh, uh, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, whichever one you want to promote. And we have integrations with that on our website. So we can actually link your page. Uh, you want to look into email marketing, such as MailChimp, Constant Contact. Um, whichever you want to use, there's a lot of them out there. Uh, we use MailChimp, it's free. There's a lot of free tools. Um, I know a lot of people that use Constant Contact too. They may have a free solution and also a paid one. Um, so it's all about getting your name out there, representing your brand, um, and you know people will find you um, that way. And once they see you social media wise, otherwise you're relying on SEO searches and stuff like that, which you can apply if you want to put money into it and that's going to be if you're not familiar when they search for your website or your company that you'll pop up sooner in the uh, google results you can also look into adwords 
there's a lot of different things you can do if you want to put the money in it, but there's a lot of free tools that you can use at your fingertips um, to help grow your business. Yeah, I think I think that uh, we'll we'll get wrapped up here now. But what I, my my thought on that would be is start thinking because I don't think there's any right answer for anybody because everything's different. Uh -huh. But every time the economy has gotten bad, it's made me sit down and have to think about things, and it made me use my brain. And then I feel bad and think, gosh, I wish I'd use my brain quicker. All right. I want to thank everybody for being with us today and putting up with our honesty. Alex and I will be back with you in a month to have another webinar. And if you would like to have that replay, it's gone at sellpromoproducts.com. And I will send you the replay of the uh, presentation. And I want to thank everybody for turning out today. And we will see you next month. Bye-bye.